There are a lot of things going on. It is emotional for retirees, as we will point out. Could be emotional for outstate lawmakers as well, as you will see. But the theme that we are seeing emerge on this very important day is it's always better to settle these financial disputes in bankruptcy rather than to continue on in litigation. But take a look at everything that's going on today. First of all, governor has called a news conference for 3.30 this afternoon up in Lansing, where it is anticipated he will announce $350 million in tobacco settlement money and bond money, no tax money, because that wouldn't fly without state lawmakers. All of this money with strings with the intent to save art at the DIA. As we've been reporting, foundations have pledged support of $350 million toward that end as well. This is a subject in mediation that is underway downtown here at federal court with creditors, pension systems, Detroit retirees. Will they accept some of this money to soften their cuts that are coming? Mediation, the mediators, federal judges put out a rare statement this morning praising the governor's support that is anticipated to be announced this afternoon. Also, a couple of other issues. There's uh, two issues actually before Judge Rhodes, the bankruptcy judge. They want to form a committee to do another appraisal, look at the facts of appraisals on DAR. They believe that a Christie's appraisal that was ordered by the city is a low ball figure. Judge Rhodes says he will decide decide that at 3 o'clock this afternoon. He will also decide an emotional issue. They want an injunction stopping Detroit from imposing 85% cuts in health care for 23,500 retirees. They say this is a life or death situation. They need to buy prescription drugs. They need medical care. This will drive them into poverty. That decision also coming out at 3 o'clock this afternoon with Judge Rhodes. Are all of these decisions tied together? This is holding up Detroit's plan of adjustment that was to be filed this month. Emergency Manager Kevin Orr says that will now wait until next month. A lot to play out this afternoon. Yeah. Joanne, Glenda. A busy day in the bankruptcy court indeed, Jim. You, when you were talking about that money to help the DIA, you said the tobacco money and some settlement money, all this money with strings. Elaborate a little bit more on what you mean by that. Well, that means that they want to put into a trust. There would be strings that this cannot be used to create the same problems that Detroit did leading up to bankruptcy. Those strings might be spelled out by the governor this afternoon, but that's what we were hearing from legislative leaders. This is not just going to take the $350 million and walk away. They want some conditions attached to that money.